My people wonder shall never end. Hey, <laughs> they say Igbi was in tears, or oh, as like they have exposed her secret affairs with another man. And they say this time, Lade did not only say that, they say she came up with evidence. <laughs> you know that one thing about this uh, Igbi is that she should know that she, she offended people, a lot of people, before getting married to Kabiesi. So it is expected that she should come and, you know, leave or... Bringing as in she is expected to be bringing in positive energy into this marriage, as in she is expected to give in her best for this marriage to work, because failure to do that, those people that she affected, they are going to mock her. If anything happens to this marriage, they are going to mock her big time, and they can even go as far as setting her up or even, you know, monitoring her movement and any negative movement that she is making. They will report it to KBSC, especially someone like this uh, Lide. We heard that Lide promised her that for what she did to her, that she is never going to enjoy this marriage one bit. At first, we all thought she was enjoying the marriage, but only recently, it is very clear that she is not enjoying the marriage. One is that her ex-husband has been disturbing over and over again, telling KBSC that they did not return her his bride price, and for that reason, Igbi still remain his his wife, okay, as if that is not enough. Right now, we hear that KBS have been starving uh, stav them of uh, SEX, you know, and they have been trying to fix it. It is not working. And this is because there have been revelations from different seers and prophets and prophetess telling KBS that if you want to live long, if you want your throne to last long, you need to stop having some conjugal duties with some of these women, you know, because they have, so having those things with them have bad influence on you. And it is also affecting your decision because they are doing some of the things that they are not supposed to do. That is why it is so. And right now, you know that they have been complaining of uh, this uh, KBS not touching them, KBS not making them feel like women and all of that. And at first, I was thinking that they cannot go and meet with another man. But the kind of information we are hearing these days, uh, I think they can. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but even if they can, they are not supposed to as wives to the king. Some people said, uh, as Kabiesi's wife, no man can cross his uh, wife and all of that. What What about when Kabiesi went and married people's wives? You tell me that no man can cross them again, even when men have crossed and crossed and crossed. Someone like some of them that have married two, two to three wives, someone like uh, Olori TikTok. You tell me that KBS will go and marry her and do something that will make other men not to cross her. A lot of men have been crossing before KBS come. So I don't think that is going to work. I do not know, but I'm just saying my mind. So right now they say, uh, like they have told KBS that, see, you see this lady you called your wife. This is what she is doing. This is who she is doing it with. And they say, Kabiesi said she's not be, he's not believing it and all of that. That he is, that she, the lady is saying it out of jealousy, out of the fact that uh, uh, he, he wronged her. He, he stabbed her by the back, at the back and all of that. But uh, Lide said no. That Kabiesi should know that Igbi was her friend. And she knew Igbi more than anything, that Igbi is that one woman that can go extra mile to get what she wants. Yes, she doesn't mind what it will take her to get what she wants. And if you be true to, truthful to yourself, you know that you have starved her of sex for some time now. And she is human being. And that is one thing she loves so much. And you should, can tell, you know, and she can go extra mile to get it. And the second person she thought uh, she was lying or because of uh, how Igbi offended her and all of that. They said Igbi told her to, told Kabiesi to uh, give her one security that is working in that, or uh, staying in that Olori quarters so that like they will work with the security guard to get the information for Kabiesi that Lady will not be the one to get the information, but the security guard will get the information for KBS. And my people, they said, on one of the occasions, Igbi 
left the Olori quarters. And while she was leaving, they said she did not move with her car. Because you know that if she moved with her car, uh, it will be very... Uh, people will know that this is her car going and all of that, you know. But she never knew that these people are monitoring her. They said the security guard was who was working with Lide to get the information for KBS who was working with her. And they said the security guard was following her, but she never knew. Then she got to uh, uh, a point when they asked her where she was going without her car. She said that she just wanted to show, you know, that uh, she needs exercise. And she's not ready to be doing all this morning uh, uh, running and everything. That She just wanted to be trekking sometimes. She decided to throw down the road and down the express. That is how they say she, started. she was walking. And that security guard was monitoring and following her, but she did not know. Then all of a sudden, they said a car stopped and picked her. The guy took the picture, even though she did not, he did not get the picture of uh, the man very well. But he took the picture and he saw how passionate she hugged the man and the uh, uh, exchange peck her big kiss inside the car. And the car left. The man cannot follow them with uh, just leg now. Uh -huh. Then... They said the man was kind of monitoring her movement. Then, when maybe she told uh, Lide, this is what happened and all of They told her to wait almost at that point where the man picked her. Because that is where the man was going to drop her when she's done with whatever that she have gone out to do with the, with the man. My people, will behold, they said, almost around 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. They said the guy returned back to that, sky, uh, that express only for the man to drop her again. And they said she hugged the man passionately. And if you see, the, you know, when you see people, when you, when someone wants to hug a friend, it's different from when someone wants to hug a lover. You can spot the difference. And they said the man took pictures too of the man and the, the, and the Igbi and sent to to Lide, and Lede was able to confirm that it is the same man that she had been talking about. Yeah. They said when this information got to KBS, KBS was like, so it has gotten to this extent. And I said, now wow, now wow, my people wonder shall never end. Hey, anyways, like I will always remind you, these are all alleged information. If this information is true, why are they deceiving their, themselves in KBS's house? Is it not time they leave Kabiesi's house to go and be with their lover? Eh? Or they want to eat their cake and have it. They want to get the popularity, the exposure, and also get love at the same time. Kabiesi is not in for any love, if not for Queen Naomi. Anyway, guys, don't forget that these are all alleged information, like I will always remind you. Tell me what you think about it on the comment section and give this video a thumbs up. When I hear Kabiesi's reaction on this, I'm going to let you know, okay? Thanks for watching. Bye. I love you guys.